Okay, welcome back to part 5, cell respiration. Each molecule that enters the TCA produces the equivalent of how many ATP? 12. And it turns 3 times. 3 twelves are 36. And you get 2 ATP from glycolysis. So you get about 30, 38 ATP. Substrate level phosphorylation produces GTP and it is readily converted to ATP. So we count it in the citric acid cycle as one ATP. What is the total energy produced by oxidation of one mole of glucose through the CAC, or citric acid cycle? 36 to 38 moles of ATP. Again, three cycles of the CAC. Glycolysis produces how many ATP and how many NADH? Glycolysis produces 4 ATPs and 2 NADH, but uses 2 ATPs in the process for a net of 2 ATPs and 2 NADHs. Note this process does not require oxygen and does not yield much energy. Okay, let's talk about the net energy production from aerobic respiration. For a glycolysis, you have AT, 2 ATP. From the Krebs cycle, you get 2 ATP. And from the electron transport uh, phosphorylation, you get 32 ATP. Each NADH produced in glycolysis is worth 2 ATP, or 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. And the NADH is worth 3 ATP but it costs an ATP to transport the NADH into the mitochondria, so there is a net gain of 2 ATP for each NADH produced in glycolysis. Each NADH produced in the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA and Krebs cycle is worth 3 ATP, so 3 times 8 is 24. Each FADH2 is worth 2 ATP. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 24 plus 4 is 32. So the net energy production is 36 ATP. High levels of what intermediate metabol metabolites stimulate ATP production? NAD+, AMP, and CoA. If there are low levels of this, ATP cannot be made. What is that? NADH. There is normally more NAD plus inside the cell than NADH. So when there is not enough NADH, more NAD plus is made. Remember, the accumulation of intermediate metabolites is not desirable. Increased ATP utilization causes increased ATP production. Which stage is called the pacemaker stage? Isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate. We don't want to make excess levels of ATP because it is a waste of energy. It's expensive. The formation of citrate can be inhibited when? When there are high levels of ATP. When high levels of ATP are present, citrate is not made. Remember, intermediates can be used by other pathways, but their levels must be maintained for the TCA cycle to continue. The TCA also interacts with other pathways. Which major section of TCA are involved in other pathways? Okay, first, oxaloacetate. It's used to make glucose and aspartate and can make oxaloacetate oxo and vice versa. Number two, citrate. Citrate is used to make acetyl-CoA, which also makes uh, fatty acids. Third, alpha-ketoglutarate is used to make glutamate, which can make glutamine. So think about amino acids. Number four, succinyl-CoA is used to make heme. Remember the TCA is not a closed system. What are the most important three enzymes in the TCA? Citrate synthase, that's 
the enzyme for oxaloacetate to citrate. Next is isocitrate dehydrogenase. This is the enzyme helping isocitrate and alpha-ketoglutarate. So this uh, works to in between these two steps. Remember that IDH is the pacemaker stage. Isocitrate dehydrogenase is the pacemaker stage. And lastly, alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase is the enzyme in between alpha ketoglutarate to supinyl-CoA. Thank you very much.